The NCHC frozen faceoff will soon be down to two teams. And that's what's bringing one man 1,500 miles to Grand Forks. And WDAY News reporter Andrea Safar shows us why and how he's keeping his love of college hockey alive. Ladies and gentlemen, even amid a pandemic, the love of sports knows no boundaries. John Shaughnessy is from New York, a diehard college hockey fan all his life. I usually get to about 20 or so games a year, and I go to uh, get go to the Frozen Four each year. He and his son cherishing a hockey-watching tradition for 15 years. Well, me and my son went to a regional tournament when he was a real little kid, and we just got into it really a lot. And then we started going to the Frozen Four about 10 years ago, and we... We've been there ever since. He planned to come to the Frozen Faceoff Tournament in St. Paul and keep his Frozen Four ritual alive in Detroit in 2020. But of course, that didn't happen. Sports world is coming to a screeching halt. Growing concerns over the spread of the coronavirus have prompted even more historic cancellations in the sports world. Fast forward a year, John receiving an email that tickets would be up for grabs for the Frozen Faceoff in Grand Forks. I hadn't been to a game in over a year. I said, why not? Let's do it. I even actually used the, my plane ticket that I was going to use to go to the Frozen Four last year. So uh, that got me out here. It all worked out good. Also making it the first time he's ever set foot in North Dakota. The furthest north I got before was uh, South Dakota. Finding no better opportunity to visit the legendary Ralph Engelstad Arena. I've always wanted to come to the Ralph. Um, it was like on a bucket list kind of thing. While it's not your typical raucous Ralph experience, <laughs> He's just happy to be back in the stands yet again. It's good to be here, and uh, I'm glad they were able to pull this off. But I, I hope to come back someday when I get the full experience of a packed house. For WDAY News, I'm Andreas Hafar. John still has one more game to attend. That's tomorrow's Frozen Faceoff Championship game. Later in sports, find out the two teams that are in that championship game. Back to weather. Don't be fooled by the wintry weather we've had today and recently.